The Capital Markets Authority is an independent public agency under the National Treasury, established through an Act of Parliament and charged with the responsibility of supervising, licensing and monitoring the activities of market intermediaries. The vision of the Capital Markets Authority is a proactive regulator of a competitive and robust capital market. The mission of the authority is to promote the development of Kenya's capital market to be an investment destination of choice through facilitative regulation and innovation. As the authority, we have what is known as a dual mandate, both for regulating and supervising the operations of the market, as well as developing and deepening the growth of the market. The role of the Nairobi Securities Exchange uh, is to provide um, a market. Um, we, 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 we typically create um, an environment where investors are able to meet and exchange securities. Let me draw a parallel. Today, if you go to, the, to a normal vegetable market, you'll find various products. You'll find onions, you'll find oranges, you'll find um, mangoes. Now, in that market, you have somebody who actually now um, sells those, sells the market, sells the onions and the and, 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 and whatever other vegetables you want to buy. But this person received them from somebody else who wants to sell them. So he's the middleman. At the same time, you want the people who now come to buy. So that person who who does that exchange from the people who delivered and the people who buy is really the middleman, and that creates that's really the intermediary. Now we we provide the overall market where all these intermediaries come together to provide an open to allow investors and suppliers to trade the instruments. CDSC is like a bank for shares. So all the shares that are traded on the Nairobi Securities Exchange are actually kept at CDSC. So as an investor, if you hold shares in a particular company, your shares are actually kept with CDSC like the way you keep money in a bank, but as we are a bank for shares. So nowadays, you know, you don't have a share certificate. So all you have is a CDS account. And in that CDS account is where all your shares are held. So if you're a shareholder of any listed company, your shares are actually held with us, and then you have a CDS account. The capital markets offer the most accessible source of long-term capital, while at the same time giving the public access to diverse and innovative investment opportunities. The main investment platform for the Kenyan capital markets is the Nairobi Securities Exchange, on which various investment instruments are listed. The first and most important categories of participants in the capital markets comprises of investors. Investments in the capital markets range from shares in a listed company, government bonds, corporate bonds, and units in a collective investment scheme or real estate investment trusts. A collective investment scheme is an investment fund where individuals or corporates come together and their funds are pooled and invested as a group. And this can be in either in equities, fixed income, bonds, or any other kind of investment that can be created within that vehicle. And the members benefit from the economies of skills as working as a group. So this helps the passive investor invest in the stock exchange while getting the derived benefits of returns. They are longer in nature and they are advisable for two years and above. They are more long term. They are, have higher risk, but because you have professional managers managing it, the risk is low. An investor can be retail or institutional, local or foreign. The second category comprises of issuers of securities. An issuer is a company or any other legal entity, such as the government that offers shares or bonds to the public. In order to continue to grow as businesses, the current cost of financing uh, entities may be receiving from banks or other uh, mechanisms are not sufficiently affordable for long-term sustainable investment. The numerous uh, benefits of being listed on the on the NSC and remaining listed on the on the on the on the NSC, and uh, the most obvious ones are uh, access ease of access to capital. The fixed income market segment has been uh, hugely beneficial to Centum. In, in a number of ways, we were able to raise 4.2 billion shillings in 2012. And in uh, this year, earlier in the year, we raised uh, 6 billion. We are seeking to raise 8.4 billion shillings, and we raised it on the fixed income market segment. We raised uh, bonds. 
which have subsequently been, been listed. The day after we listed, the company's um, um, uh, market cap was 1.6 billion Kenyan shillings. At yesterday's share price, the company's market cap was 12 billion. So from 1.6 to 12 billion, that's been the uh, market cap. We listed at 10 shillings and 45 cents. Currently, we are trading at about 34 or 35 shillings. The highest share price we've had is 70 shillings. In terms of uh, turnover, when we listed in 2006, our turnover was 2.6 billion. In 2014, that turnover went to 16.8 billion. So from 2 to 16.8 billion. You can see the number of times the company has grown. It's about eight times in terms of turnover. In terms of profit before tax, in 2006, we made 210 million profit before tax. In 2014, we made 912 million shilling uh, before tax. So you can see that the company has grown about um, four times in terms of profit, uh, eight times in terms of billing, and uh, about from 1.6 to 12 billion in, in, in market cap. So that's how the company has grown. You can move from being a shop in your village to being a chain within your county, to being a chain across a country, Kenya is part of the East African community. You can now become a chain across Eastern Africa. You know, you're moving from 40 million Kenyans to 143 million East Africans. Now start being your potential clients. When you're operating on that level, now you start looking at Africa. But to grow like that, the only way you can do that is through affordable, long-term financing. And that is really the solution that the capital markets look to provide. The third category is market intermediaries. An intermediary oversees or facilitates the sale and acquisition of shares. Uh, if you want to acquire a share today, uh, you cannot buy directly from the Nairobi Securities Exchange. We do not give access to investors directly. You have to go through a stockbroker who, has, who is licensed. To transact on the market, an investor requires the services of a stockbroker who buys or sells shares in bonds or acts as an agent for investors in return for a commission. For you to buy shares in our market, you must have a CTS account. The stockbroker can actually open the CTS account on your behalf. And uh, to open the CDS account, you just require your national ID or your passport. You require a passport size photo. You require a bit of information which the stockbroker will take, which he'll be able to identify with. For example, your address, uh, your phone number, just basic details. Another market intermediary is an investment bank. Investment banks are non-deposit taking institutions licensed by CMA to advise issuers on offers of shares and bonds to the public, takeovers, mergers, acquisitions or corporate restructuring involving companies listed on a securities exchange. Investment banks are also allowed to engage in the business of a stockbroker or dealer. In addition to stockbrokers and investment banks, the market requires the services of investment advisors. Large institutions or investors engaging in multiple investments may also engage the services of a fund manager. A fund manager manages a portfolio of securities in excess of an amount prescribed by the authority from time to time. Well, I would say the role of the fund manager in the capital markets industry is that when you are, if when you're looking to invest your savings or invest, uh, you can take you can take two courses of two courses of action. You know, one is uh, to take take uh, responsibility for your decisions in the sense that uh, you will go to the capital markets and find, let's say, stocks and shares to invest in. Or the alternative is you would look to, uh, you know, hire or choose uh, an organization that has fund managers uh, to allocate and make those decisions for you in line with what you require. To hold securities and transaction funds, the market relies on authorized depositories, which are licensed commercial banks. An authorized depository is a bank licensed under the Banking Act or a financial institution approved by the authority to hold in custody funds, securities, financial instruments or documents of title to assets registered in the name of local investors, foreign investors or of an investment portfolio. Another crucial service offered to the market is credit rating. A credit rating agency provides the service of evaluating the relative creditworthiness of issuers of securities and assigns ratings to such securities. For more information, 
visit the Capital Markets Authority website at www.cma.or.ke. The Capital Markets Authority, promoting capital markets integrity.